When we were looking into the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, we already encountered the determinant of a matrix. We noticed that the 2 by 2 matrix was invertible if and only I if the determinant was non-zero. You may have already wondered whether it is possible to compute determinants for larger matrices and whether the same rule holds for larger matrices. The answer to both questions is yes. In this web lecture, you will learn how to compute determinants of larger matrices. Later on, you will see the relation with invertibility. So, let's start with the 2 by 2 case to refresh. If you have a matrix A, A equals A, B, C, D, the determinant equals A times D minus B times C. So, an example, determinant of this matrix A over here equals 1 times minus 4 minus minus 2 times 3. So mind sign equals minus 4 plus 6 equals 2. How can we compute the determinant of a larger matrices? Well, we can compute determinants only of square matrices. So of 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, and so on. What do we do? Well, if we have a 3 by 3 matrix, like this matrix A over here, the trick is to uh, rewrite it in terms of a few 2 by 2 determinants. We'll see how over here. If you have a 4 by 4 matrix, what we do first is that we rewrite it in terms of some 3 by 3 matrices, and then uh, we compute all determinants of 3 by 3 matrices because we rewrite those in a similar way in the terms of determinants of 2 by 2 matrices. And now you already guess what's going to happen if you want to compute a determinant of a 10 by 10 matrix. Yeah, indeed, that's a lot of work. So let's stick to the 3 by 3 case first. What we do often is to make this helpful checkerboard pattern of pluses and minuses first, just on a side note. You start with a plus and then you do minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, alternating to help us to compute the determinant of A. Well, how do we compute it? Well, we start with the minus 1 over here. Determinant of A equals minus 1 plus this minus 1. So we take the plus here times minus 1. Then we erase the row and column where the minus 1 is. And we do minus 1 times the determinant of what remains over here. So minus 1 times the determinant of 2, 1, 0, minus 2. Then we're not done. Then we continue. And we go to the second element of the first row, the 3. We see over here a minus, so we get a minus 3 times the determinant of the matrix where we erase the row and the column where the 3 is. So we erase those two. We get the 0, 1, 3, minus 2. Determinant of the matrix, 0, 1, 3, minus 2. Well, we're already guessing how we proceed. Continue along the first row and we erase now with a plus sign. So we get plus 1 times the determinant of the matrix consisting of 0, 2, 3, 0 over here. And there we are. Then we have rewritten our determinant of A in terms of 3 2 by 2 determinants, which we can compute minus 4 minus 0. So we get a minus 4, minus 1 times minus 4. Here, minus 3 times 0 minus 3, minus 3 times minus 3, up there. And then plus 1 times 0 minus 6, minus 6. And if we add everything up, we get 4 plus 9 minus 6 equals 7. So the determinant of my matrix A over here equals 7. Now, you may think, why is this first row so special? Is the first row more special than the first column, or is the first row more special? special than the second or third row? Well, in computing determinants, no, not really. So we use here the first row to compute the determinant of A. We can also use, say, the second column. So let's use the second column instead, and let's try to do the same trick. So what do we need to do then? Well, we start with the 3 over here which is a minus sign now, so we get a minus 3 times the determinant of the matrix 
which we get by erasing the row and column where the 3 is in. So 0, 3, 1, minus 2. Then we proceed along the uh, second column. We arrive at 2, which has a plus. So we get a plus 2 times the determinant of the matrix, which we get by erasing the second row and second column. So you see it over here. And then we go to the last one. We arrive at the zero, the minus sign, so we get the minus zero. Well, we already guessed it doesn't really matter what comes next, but okay, let's complete it. Minus zero, that's the determinant of the matrix, minus one, zero, one, one. So there we are. And what do we get? Minus three times zero, minus three. Plus two times minus one times minus two equals two. Minus three equals minus one. Plus zero times something, well, okay, zero times something equals zero, of course. So we get nine minus two equals seven. So you see that we can use whichever column or whichever row we like best in order to compute the determinant of a matrix. So especially for larger matrices, you better take a smart row or smart column, a row or column consisting of many zeros. For example, this awkward matrix B over here. How can you compute the determinant of this 4 by 4 matrix? Well, you can do the same trick. You can go along the first row, of course, and turn this uh, determinant first into four uh, 3 by 3 determinants. But you notice, well, hopefully you notice that there is a smarter choice than going along the uh, first row. Better go along the second column. Make the pattern again and use the second column, because there are lots of zeros there. So we start with the minus, minus 6, minus minus 6, times the determinant of minus 1, 0, 3, 3, 2, 0, 1, 1, minus 2. And then if you continue along the second column, you get a plus 0 times something, minus 0 times something, plus 0 times something, and we leave some things out, because it just yields some zero contributions. So we turned our 4x4 four four de determinant in one step, just in a 2x2 two two determinant, by a smart choice of the uh, column. And we get a 6 times the determinant of this matrix over here. So we have to compute the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. Oh, but that's nice. That's exactly the same as A. So that means that we already know the determinant of this one over here. It's 7. So the determinant of B equals 6 times the determinant of A equals 6 times 7 equals 42. So that's how you can compute determinants, and now you are yourself able to compute determinants of all matrices you like.